Yeah, buddy, we're back with another After Hours at the Warehouse. This is Bobby Cool, Daddy Slick Breeze. I've been traveling a lot, so it's been a while since I've done one of these. If it's the first time watching, let me explain how it works. This is where it's just you and me and I show you some of the things we got going on here at the warehouse for dynamic distribution. Some of the stuff is just new releases we got coming out. Some of the stuff that I don't know if I'll get in trouble for showing you, but I do it anyway because I'm Bobby Cool Daddy Slippery. So let's get started. Zuka, 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 Zuka. We got Zuka cards. All right, so I know I've talked about the Zuka cars before in a other After Hours episode, but I wanted to show you the new colors we got in the matte blue, the matte black, the matte red, and the matte gray. Uh, really excited about these colors that we have out in the Dynamic Disc disc golf cart by Zuka. It's got a built-in seat and it's meant to fit your backpack style bags. Now I've seen people put the Dynamic Disc Discs Ranger bag, I've seen them put the Dynamic Disc Commander bag, and I've seen them put the Latitude 64 E3 luxury bag. They do fit a little snug and you do lose some of the side pockets, but you can also purchase uh, putter pouches and a seat cushion for the carts as well. But I'm really liking these new colors. Okay, so there was another reason why I got these out. Let me show you. I set up a little hoverboard disc golf cart obstacle course. Let's do this. Yeah, buddy. So the other, wait, what was that? Well, I don't know if I should show you guys this. It's in uh, Denise's office. What are those things? What is in that box? Huh. Well, guy. What are these? Oklahoma, Texas, Kansas? These look like patches for bags. I wonder what they're for. All right, so I don't know what those patches were for. Uh, I may have to ask Denise and get back with you guys on another episode. Interesting though, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Trying to do a little burnout. <laughs> Didn't quite get it. So one thing I do want to talk to you about is these special discs that I'm looking at right here. These are, have you guys heard of the Criminal yet? It's a new uh, fairway driver, overstable fairway driver coming from uh, Dynamic Discs. And we work with buyback programs. If you want to know what the buyback programs program is, you can go to dynamicdisc.com slash buyback and find out more information. Basically what it is, it's our guarantee that it, with it, you buy a disc from our the three brands, Dynamic Discs, Westside Discs, Latitude 64. And if you don't like that disc, if within 14 days, you can bring it back and we will get you a different disc. It doesn't ma matter who makes the disc, you can get credit toward getting a new disc. Another thing we do for our buyback pro, uh, partners is we offer them special edition discs, uh, new releases that are coming out and we get them a... Wow. Another thing we do for our buyback store partners is that we get them special edition of discs that we have and this time we're doing a special edition Criminal, 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 criminal. Look at that color. This is a plastic. This is like a, I don't know if it's necessarily a hybrid, but it's not lucid. It's it's like a, uh, this one's like a sparkle. Look, if you can see, look real close, you can see the sparkles there in the disc. And this one just has, this one's just really cool color and it's got some really cool little lines in there. But these are special edition criminal. Only our buyback stores will get these. They come in these two colors and like I said they're a special plastic uh, that only the buyback stores will receive. So pick these up from your buyback store. Oh there you are. Okay so 
I was walking around the office today looking for stuff to show you guys and I saw this on Matt Sedgwick's uh, table that he has next to his desk and I asked him about it and I asked him please let me show you to please let me show this to uh, the people on after hours and he said sure so let me go grab it and wait till you see this uh, it's like a traveling trophy hold on is this not the greatest look at this it's it's what they did is they took like a, a slice from a tree like uh, this right out of a tree and then they took some plastic bananas and they glued them on here and they have a little gorilla in the middle there there's a gorilla and then they put this is from the what it is is we have an event here called the monkey island open we have uh, i think you said three guys that compete they they play in the event and then based on, or depending on these three they're competing who does the best score and matt sedgwick won this year he gets to have the trophy at his desk so he took a monkey island open disc this is a justice biofusion justice and they put it on top and this is their trophy for the year until the next monkey, monkey island open and this is what he gets to display at his desk to show that he won i love the people that work here So we've talked about the Junior Judge before. I've showed you before, but it, I don't think it had a stamp on it. Well, now we have some with the stamps on them. So some of you are thinking, well, is it a mini? Can I play with it in a tournament? No, these are not PDGA approved. However, you can use them as a mini because PDGA specifies that it has to be seven to 15 centimeters in diameter. And this is right at 15 centimeters. So yes, can use it as a mini, but you cannot use it as a PDGA approved disc in a tournament. Also, I found out that the mini disc golf association, it's too big to play as a mini in a mini disc golf tournament. Maybe I didn't say that quite right so that the mini people will understand. Let me try something real quick. It's too big to play in a mini disc golf tournament. Sorry guys. Mini disc golf rules. So why the Junior Judge? Well, it, it's a good, really fun catch disc. Flies really nice, but it's also smaller for smaller hands like kids. So you might be thinking, well, how is the kid gonna, what are the kids gonna do? What are they gonna put in? <laughs> That's what I'm excited to share with you. The junior recruit. We made a junior size recruit basket. Perfect for young kids to grab a junior judge, learn how to putt straight into a basket that is specifically designed for their size. Still made of great quality that we've made with our other baskets, just sized down. So perfect for young disc golfers. These should be available within the next couple of months. We are super excited super stoked we're going to work with some schools we're going to get them in schools it's going to be like part of recess things to do when they're on recess when they're you know playing stuff like that you can even have it in the classroom have you some junior judges and uh and a junior recruit or even at your own house you can purchase it and have a junior recruit at your house so your kids can learn to love disc golf just like you do this is going to be awesome all right, well, that's it for after hours at the warehouse. I wonder if Matt would be nervous if he knew I was on my hoverboard with his trophy. I don't know. God. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Haha, <laughs> just kidding, guys. Those are bananas from the smoothie bar. His trophy's perfectly fine. <laughs> I think the ape is scared in there. He can trap behind these gigantic bananas. There you go, Matt. Your Monkey Island trophy is back where it belongs. Just make sure you feed the gorilla. Whoa, what is that? Do you see that? So this is a Latitude 64 Byte. It's a dog disc. It's PDJ proof, so you can use it. This one you can use in a, in a tournament. Very straight flying disc. 
This is a smaller. Look at the size difference. This is the first I've seen this. What is this? I hope I don't lose my job by showing you this. Latitude 264 throw and catch. Whoa. Yeah. We're not going to talk about that. Guys, that's it for this episode of After Hours at the Warehouse. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you all for the kind words. Whenever I see you at tournaments, you let me know that you really enjoy these shows and you let me know in comments uh, on Facebook and YouTube. Keep those comments coming. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed. And make sure you share it out and let other people watch so they can kind of see a behind the scenes. Let Jeremy Rusco know you love these behind the scenes videos. Oh, and by the way, when you get your Disc Golfer magazine, Make sure you check out Paige Pierce on there looking good in her Team Dynamic Disc stuff. She's awesome. All right, guys. Until next time, we'll see you. I'm Paige Pierce. Look how far I can throw. Hey, guys. Check out the uh, links here so you can see the other After Hours videos. But I also wanted to do a kind of a cool little shout-out. I had The other day, I had uh, some uh, family come in, and I met uh, Ava, a young lady who is uh, just started disc golf and is playing disc golf. And uh, she said she loves watching my After Hours video. So I kind of want to give her a shout out. And uh, I took this picture. Uh, she was helping LaRon do a junior disc golf uh, clinic. And I thought it was really cool. And then uh, the other day I got a message on Facebook where someone said that their daughter Macy is likes to watch the funny guy in the disc golf videos. <laughs> and I thought that was pretty cool. So I wanted to kind of give her some a shout out as well. There's a picture of, of Macy. Uh, getting her disc out of the basket. So anyway, thank you guys so much for letting me know that you guys enjoy these videos. And as long as you guys like these videos, I will keep making them. Thanks.